Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the Bubble Ball, which coming to Hidden Depths DLC in Minecraft Dungeons. This one caught my attention because if you follow my channel, you know that I enjoy creating builds uh, with some good crowd control, and this one actually seems like a good choice. Usually I don't play a lot with uh, bows, I mean I don't give them attention as a main thing or even kind of a secondary, unless it's something that reduces the cooldown, as you know from the previous DLC. Now the one we are seeing here is actually common, but there's unique variation, hopefully variations, we need to wait and see. As you can see it says, let your troubles float away with the bubble bow which seals your target in a bubble on a charge shot. Now if you follow the latest diary for Minecraft Dungeons, you can actually see a part in the video where it actually takes place with the unique variation of the bubble bow. Uh, so just, just uh, take a look so you can actually see how it plays. So, can you see? It's just you shoot a charge arrow, it warps the enemy with a bubble. Uh, probably at this stage, they kind of like stun, I believe. They can't actually do anything. Um, I don't know, this one doesn't float away. Maybe some are. Maybe when you actually use it with a uh, unique variation. But it just gives some time to kind of uh, maybe deal with other enemies and then again back to that enemy. Or maybe just give you time to deal damage to that specific enemy without actually getting damage back. Now, to be honest, it would be cool if I could actually uh, do this for several enemies at the same time. That actually would be nice. Um, and we need to see actually um, if there is kind of a more advanced option for this in the unique version. But would, by the way, uh, this unique, you see, this is the unique version of the bubble bow, you see? This is not the common one it's actually using. Uh, and you can see the enemies turn kind of red, right? And then uh, they just go and slash them and eliminate them. Pretty cool. Our video was kind of maybe something like damage over time taking place there, but I don't see any hints that it's actually there. Nonetheless, this is a really cool thing where there's an enemy that can cause a bit of trouble and just give you some time to just deal with other enemies and then go back to that enemy and eliminate them. Uh, it seems like that, that enemy actually was caged in this bubble for uh, quite a long time, uh, so it seems. Now, as you know, I personally prefer using melee weapons. This is just because this is the way I enjoyed playing the game better, kind of in the face. Uh, but I do want to kind of uh, give the option to have uh, the time to use the bows more, right? Before that, right uh, before this DLC, right now actually, before the, deal, the new DLC is released uh, in adapt, I used it mainly in many builds for just reduce the cooldown. And, uh, or just for speed runs, a little damage with the satchel of elements. But this just makes the bow doesn't, you know, uh, kind of something that provides utility, but you don't really kind of uh, use it to shoot or just do something extra. And many people, uh, many players who actually use it, just use the harp. And the good thing about the harp is it shoots five projectiles at the same time, and it can be a totally powerful weapon if you have other enchantments that even causes for more arrows to be shot. Uh, and also if you have, for example, poison, you can deal poison to a really kind of large area or you can have it, um, you know, use it with an artifact uh, that can cause massive damage. So it's very powerful, but I want to see more unique and interesting variations of, of the bow that will kind of uh, encourage me and motivate me to actually use now just looking at the basic stats, you see this is kind of okay, I mean, good power, speed is not great, but again we expect the damage to be higher because of that. Uh, ammo is, is okay, again, not on the low side, um, and of course we are, this is just the common one, so we can expect of course the unique variant to be kind of a more appealing. But again for crowd control, this one looks interesting, and something that I probably would like to have as a secondary weapon for controlling uh, enemies from far, especially if I predict that based on the gameplay that we're not gonna move as fast as the land, uh, probably there will be ways to increase um, uh, the, the movement speed, but like the dolphins and stuff, uh, but the thing is that we know that the harp, for example, shoots fast, right? So other projectiles we shoot slow. So uh, because of the because of the slowliness, uh, it's probably been nice if we have the option to control enemies that are far from us, and then kind of uh, you know get rid of those that are close to us, and then by the time we get them, we can actually attack them and eliminate them. So more control over you know incoming damage seems like to be a, a good idea in this DLC and if we have this bow uh, that allows us to encapsulate uh, enemies and prevent them from actually uh, doing damage to us uh, that can be uh, kind of a something that I'm interested in trying out. 
So tell me, what do you think about the bubble bow? I know, I know you, ha, nobody have played it yet, just yet, but based on what you see here, you read here, and the little gameplay uh, uh, snippet that we've seen, what do you think about this one? Let me know in the comment section below, and consider subscribing to my channel, give this one a little like, and I'll see you soon on the next one. Cheers everyone, bye-bye.